as I was saying with Minecraft and Chicago. Right, so for the past few months, I've always had this question, and that question would be, why is learning something, like in school or at work, so much more different than the fun it is of learning a new sport or playing a, a video game? Why is it? This is a big question for me, because they're essentially the same thing, right? We're learning different things. We're learning new skills. We're learning new material. There's something different. It must be the environment or the goals that we're trying to achieve, but... I'm going to find out what's happening here. So let's dive right into example. I'm going to choose Minecraft. All right, hopefully the sound is good. I'm not sure if it is. New world. Let's go. World Nibla. So what I discovered when I was actually closely examining what I wanted to do in Minecraft and what I wanted to achieve, I found something really, really, really different, and that was progress. And what do I mean by that? So progress in Minecraft meant I spawned, right? I spawned as just a regular person. I was Steve running around, and then I started punching a tree, right? Because that's the only thing you can do to get wood. So I punched that tree, and eventually I got planks. Well. I got logs, and then I turned them into planks, turned them into sticks. And with that stick, I could build an axe and punch more trees, or not punch, but chop. Chop more trees down, get more wood, and eventually, right, I'm progressing. I'm progressing within that. I knew that I was progressing because I had more tools, right? I had a wooden pickaxe. And with that pickaxe, I could finally start to mine cobblestone. And once I got stone, well, then I could get a stone pickaxe, and then I could mine some iron ore, or, or gold ore. And that gives me the impression that I'm progressing. Also, experience points and the bar that fills up whenever I do something like mining coal, or if I slay some monsters, then I gain some more experience, right? And so that gives me the impression that I'm progressing, and that, that I'm fulfilling the story. And so this is a big factor in my motivation to actually finish the game and slay the ender dragon, right? That's the end goal, end goal of Minecraft. And so the idea of progress is really important within, within these games. So that is what I found out, right? Now, if we correlate this to sports, if I say I was a little kid, I, I was once a little kid, right? And I didn't know what basketball was, or maybe I did know, but I didn't know how to play. And so when I started learning, I started progressing. I started learning how to dribble. I started learning how to pass. I started learning how to shoot. And this gave me the impression that, oh, I'm actually learning how to play basketball, right? And so I had this motivation to play. And I would get my progress, kind of like a progress report. And that report contained, oh, maybe I'm helping out my teammates more, I'm passing more, I'm scoring more points. That means you are doing well, right? And if you keep doing that, if you keep striving to be better and score more points and help make more assists and better plays, then you're getting better at the game. So what does this have to do with what I call real life, like learning in school or learning at work or doing whatever you need to do at work? The main differentiator is, again, the progress bar. You don't know if you set a long-term goal if you're actually progressing towards it, right? There isn't enough feedback each day to know, am I doing what is right or am I stalling? right? It's really hard to know within this deep and complex world as compared to a video game like Minecraft. Like, I knew what I was doing, right? I knew that if I made an iron pickaxe, I could mine diamonds, right? And, uh, and made a diamond pickaxe, I could mine obsidian and then go to the nether. There's no such thing like this in the real world. So, what do we have to do to emulate this? Now, if I set up a long-term goal, like maybe I want a better grade in math, I will have to set little smaller sub goals. So I wanna do well on this quiz, I wanna do well on this test. But not only that, after each quiz or after each test, you need something of reward. You need a reward to, to motivate you even more. And let's take another example. Maybe I want to learn 
how to... Ah, yes, this is a really good one. Because the end goal is giant, very, very big. And it's a very time-consuming. Learning another language, right? If you're learning another language, it's very, very easy to lose sight of what you want, which is to master it, to gain fluency of the language. So what you need to do is to create sub-goals. I want to learn this many words, right? I want to be able to understand 50% of the language, or I want to be able to introduce myself, right? And there are little sub-goals there, and for each sub-goal that you reach, then you can reward yourself. And rewards and this achieving each sub-goal will direct you to the end goal and make you more motivated in the process. So that is what I learned from Minecraft and any video game, really, and all these sports, if you achieve smaller individual goals, it will direct you towards the end goal and help you achieve that. Progress is the ideal motivator in this case. So with that said, I hope you've taken something away from this video. I'll see you in the next one.